A fast growing population, cultural diversification, changing diets creates need for agricultural innovation. We're faced now with, with, a, with a changing consumer population that likes different foods. We all like foods we grew up with. I think that's a given. Um, so these, the, the new demographic, the new Canadians, um, want foods which are, are different to what we consumed, say 20, or what were consumed uh, extensively, say 20 years ago. My parents came from Hong Kong, so they have a Cantonese uh, Chinese diet, and the prim primarily we eat um, bok choy, uh, choy sum, um, napa, and bean sprouts at home, as well as some other um, mixed Chinese vegetables. As new immigrants arrive into Canada, the ethnic food markets continue to grow, allowing different cultures to access their ethnic foods, but this has not always been the case. We started our business in 1989. We, the reason for us to start this business was it was a lack of ethnic produce and a lack of ethnic groceries at that time. Uh, when I came here, I tried to look the, for the food. That was about uh, almost six years ago. I tried to look for the food that is um, close to the food that I was used to, the food from Uganda, and I couldn't find anything. And then I realized many communities had their shop, their little shops where they could get their food specialties. So I thought, you know what, I'll start one for East Africa. Luckily, um, there are quite a number now of Ghanaian shops and some of our foods cross over with some of the Caribbean shops, which now you find some Caribbean foods in some of the larger um, chain stores like Food Bases, No Frills, even Metro, some of the larger, more higher end stores are actually carrying those things. Well, sometimes you will find uh, um, a taste difference because it's traveled from such a uh, far away and some vegetables and fruits will not hold their uh, value long. I think the first thing is to acknowledge publicly that it is a growing market and that there's a lot of potential and that the people are here, they have the resources here, I mean the human resources. Uh, I think the future for ethnocultural vegetables looks bright, certainly. Um, not only are there people of many cultures who want to eat the food that they're familiar with, but more and more people are interested in a wide variety of foods. E C V Ontario brings you a documentary talking about the growing market for ethnocultural vegetables in the Greater Toronto area and beyond. It's proudly sponsored by the following partners: Omafra, University of Guelph, Vineland, Farmstart.